Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these burrito kitchens. Uh, this one's a all natural small batch handmade chicken and potato with chili and green and green with cheese and <laughs> green chili all natural burritos. Um, these are um, were at Meyer. They were three twenty nine a piece. So just let you know, they're not a cheap burrito. They're uh, they're, they're a little expensive. They come frozen, but uh, for best results, it says you should refrigerate it. So that's, that's what I did. Um, it is it's really teeny tiny writing. I don't know if I can get there. Uh, 380, 380 calories for the burrito. And there's other stuff if you can read it. Um, now there's their website. There are no directions on this package at all. I mean, none. No heating directions, no cooking directions. The only thing it says is make sure it gets to an internal temperature of 165 degrees, whatever way you do that. So, um, yeah. So, a viewer was nice enough on the last video I did of this to actually link to their website to the directions. I actually looked there after I did this one and I couldn't find them, but they found them for me. So, basically what you do is, the best way to do it is to thaw it and then cut this package open, just loosen it up, and then microwave it for a minute per side. So a minute on this side, a minute for that side. Although it did say it varied depending on your microwave. I've got a pretty powerful microwave, so I might go 50 and 50 per side, and I think it'll be fine, because mine, like I said, I've got a pretty good microwave. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. Hey, here's what it looks like. Um, I unwrapped it, it's on a paper plate, um, but I unwrapped it, and I cut it in half just so I could try to pick this up. It's very, very hot. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. So there's what the inside of it looks like. It's kind of pale. Um, the burrito itself is pretty soft. I like. I like that it's soft. It's a little crispy on the edges and the ends, which it usually is. So anyway, I'm going to uh, let this cool off because it's super hot, and I'll be back. I had set for maybe uh, maybe a minute. Probably hasn't been very long, but I did cut it up in smaller pieces. Normally, I would just pick it up and eat it. Um, I'd probably cut it in half and just pick it up and eat it. But for the video, I'm going to cut it in pieces. So first of all, it would cool off faster and so I can pick it up. So this is an end piece. I always like to try the ends because just see if they get, sometimes they get hard on the ends. I know the Del Monterey you buy in the bag, the frozen ones, they get really, really hard on the ends. Like, like they're very, very hard and crunchy. Um, so I want to see what this one's like. Hmm, not at all. I mm -hmm. like the flavors of it quite a bit. If I had went, I did 50 seconds and 50 seconds. I think if I'd went a minute and a minute, it may have dried it out on the ends and got it kind of hard, but the way it is right now is, is perfect, actually. Um, now is one kind of from the center. I'm trying to get those flavors to where I can describe them to you. Really, I taste more of the chili than in them. Let's see, chicken and potato. I get a potato flavor um, with cheese and green chilies. I think the chili definitely stands out. That's the strongest flavor in there. You do get the tortilla flavor, the flour tortilla. Um, you can kind of taste that in the background. That's kind of like the backdrop to the flavor. Then you get chili, and it's not a spicy chili. I mean, there's a little bit of, I mean, just, just a little tingle. I mean, it's more tingle than you get with a green pepper, but it's not like a... You know, it's not like a jalapeno pepper, so it's kind of in between. Uh, it's pretty low on the on the heat scale, um, temperature wise. I mean, uh, pepper wise. And um, so anyway, I get that flavor, that pepper. I get the potato, that potatoey kind of flavor. Really don't get the chicken. Um, I'd say the chicken's more of a, I don't know, a filler. Or now you would think the potato would be more of a filler than the than the than the chicken. Hello. That was a bigger bite. I didn't get the cheese at all. I still pretty much just get the peppers and the potatoes. It's not a bad burrito at all. It's, it's actually really good. I like the flavor of the peppers. The peppers have a really good, it's that chili, green chili. Um, I think it's green chili. Yeah, green chili. Um, I like the flavor of those. They're really, really good flavor. Um, and with the potato, it mixes really good. The chicken, I would say I would miss it if it wasn't there. You know, like, like if the chicken wasn't there, it was just chili and potatoes. I'd be going, there's something missing. So um, so I like the idea of having the chicken in there and uh, I'm sure it adds something to it. I just can't, it's not a like a standout flavor. You know, It's like, oh, that's chicken. Um, and the cheese is the same way. I'm sure I would miss it if it wasn't there, but it's not a standout, mm, I like that cheese, you know. So I think these are pretty good. I'm gonna give this one a four. It's definitely a good burrito. I think it's very strange they don't have directions on their packaging. 
Um, I just think that's weird. I mean, it, the, the packaging, the the thing on the website looked like a label. So, I mean, I don't know why they didn't stick that on the label. Or maybe have a label where you can you now pull it off. I don't know. It's some They need to have some kind of directions on there, you would think. Um, I shouldn't have to go to the website to figure out how to cook the stupid thing. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, beyond that, four for flavor. Uh, probably a one from the cooking directions because that's really stupid not to have the directions on the packet, I think. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely try these out. I think it's a little expensive for what they are. Um, I think you get the El Monterey's for like less than $4 for a bag of them. Um, these are a little bit better quality than those, but the flavors and stuff, is it worth the three something a piece when you get a whole bag for the same price? Probably not, honestly. So anyway, if you got the money and you want to try one out, I would try this one out. I think it's really good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.